Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. It's young boy, I'm gonna short that down because that's gonna get really goddamn repetitive. But anyway, last time we finished level 1, Turtle Woods, with both gems and the crystal. We did Snow Go with one of the gems and a crystal. And now we're going to be doing Hang 8, which also has two gems. And I know how to get one of them. So let's do Hang 8. Alright, let's do water stage. Now in case you're wondering why I'm going Okay. Th these are actually the better water stages than Crash 3. No, not Crash 3, Crash 1. I haven't done Crash 3 yet. Crash 3 is the better game. Now you may be wondering, why have I completely missed Bokkies? Well, you may only have time on the screen right now. From right, right now, I have to get to the end of the level within that time limit, and I get, a, and I get a clear gem. It's one of those cryptic gems that you would never have known first time playing, and I lost an Aku Aku, and I get a crystal at the same time. Woohoo! Let's go! 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 Let's go. Oh, and you can't get, you can't become invincible with Aku Akus on this stage, so don't try collecting, so don't, don't try hoping you can be invincible to get through these. Oh, I'm not gonna make this. Oh god. Oh! Oh my god, that was completely awesome. I had like zero seconds left and I got it. Oh god, my heart was clenching there. No, my balls were clenching. Alright, now you, I killed myself for good reason. I didn't get a checkpoint, so I go back to start the level. When you die, you keep the gem and crystal, but you do have to finish the level for it to count as collected. You just don't lose it if you die. So now I can do the level properly. You can get a second Aku Aku well in this, but you just can't become invincible. And if you jump onto the boat, or onto the hover ski when you're invincible, yeah, lose your invincibility. Now I should probably explain how this works. You, 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 simple, you just drive it with the D-pad, and you get a boost with X in circle. I think square does it too, but I don't know. Get in the way, Prana here. Yeah, the Prana plant, is, I think they got a recolor? I can't remember. Bonus round. Oh, and all the bonuses have a different have a different have a different aesthetic to them. And I'm cutting it close. TNT, TNT, and nitros will count towards the box gem. They're not just dangerous. Yeah. I'm jumping, 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 jumping. Woohoo! A life. Fifty eight. 58, 11, and 1. Alright. What the hell? Now, I got... I got a blue gem on the first level. When you click, as you know in the last game, colour gems give you alternate paths. We have to do this alternate path in order to get the... in order to get the box gem. So, first warp room and all red are given is colour paths here. That hi honestly, I, I get terrified of that hippo when he's looking straight at you. Alright. And we have the most annoying thing when it comes to platforming. Precision platforming. Thank God for shadow though. Thank God for drop shadow. Alright. We can't get all these boxes yet because we have to get a thingy which is right here. Try not, try not screw up like what I did. I went so fast after hitting that that I ended up getting off the jet ski. Okay yeah, X, circle and square give you all the boost. So I was just testing that out there. I know it looks like I'm completely insane because I'm just boosting everywhere but I'm, I'm, 
I'm not insane. My mother had me tested. Okay, I'm screwing this up. You have to boost as you get to the ramp to get a better height off it. There we go. But I wasn't doing a good job at that. Alright. Get over here. Get over here! Break that. And honestly, I don't know what that's for. You can't make it, you cannot make it over there. I have no idea why they put that there. Completely random, me thank you. Let's continue, let's continue with the rest of the level though. We get a 66 boxes. And thank you, thank you, thank you, hippos. You. Yeah, just like the first game, water is instant death. These mines are not, unless you've got no Aku Aku. I'm talking about the kind of death where if you have an Aku Aku, water is instant death. And sh I think so is the Whirlpool. I'll have to confirm whether that's true or not. There'll probably be something on screen. Die. And I got all the boxes. Hey, look at this. Oh, what? What? Come on. It's a dick and balls. <laughs> I know that's completely immature. I apologise for that. But there we go. The first level I have done where I've gotten a crystal and both gems. You know what? Crash. I'm going to be silent for a minute. You sit there and do your dance here. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Alright then. So after we get the fifth crystal, which will be Crash Dash, he will speak to us again. Let's go to the pitch. And to be honest, from my perspective, this level is a fucking pitch. Yeah, to be honest, Naughty Dog had a sense of humour. All their levels are pretty much based on puns. Explains why I like it. Explains a lot why I like it. Oh, wow. Aku Aku out of nowhere, I forgot her too. Birdies, these guys suck. You can't spin them. You have to jump on them. But if you have an Aku Aku, you can just like, plow right through them. Plow right in the kisser. Plow right in the kisser. But you notice that all the animals are pretty much roboticized. So did, did, did Robotnik make his way? Did, did Robotnik pass through here at some point? Another Aku Aku. Yeah, this level is ridiculous. And look, everyone's favourite mechanic, Split Pathways. That is sarcasm if you couldn't tell. I think I'm going to, I th honestly, I think you have to go left first. I think you have to go left first, I can't remember fully. I haven't played this game in a long, in a long while, the last, I played it, last time I played it was 2014. And that's when 100%ed it. But I know there's a way I have to go to activate something that pops up on the other side, so I have to go this way. Yeah, even if you jump on it... Where are we spinning? It still knocks you away, look! Yeah! You have to jump on it, you can't even jump on it by spinning. I love how that I love how the one push I love how the one push went around that crystal as if it was like, you are our god now and I can't jump over that. Okay. The worst part about Oh no! The worst part about backtracking levels is the backtracking. Maybe I should have backtracked the other way. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever backtracked this way before. Oh yeah, I've never backtracked this way before. That's why. Come on, come on. I am dying. Please tell me I made it far enough. I didn't make it far enough. Shit. 
I'm getting this checkpoint to be safe. Thank God. I fell down a pit. That happened to only me, right? Okay, now I'm far enough. It was just that that checkpoint was the furthest I've ever made it. Okay, I'm fine now. I'm fine. Huh. So, I, 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 I'm not missing any more boxes back there. So I'm all good. I should have just, just backtracked the other way. Because I'm worried I die going this way. Please tell me there's another checkpoint nearby. I lost all my Aku Aku and then died. Checkpoint! Nah. I was about to say, I'm not going this way. I have my own tactic to get in out here. Just jump on a rat and jump, just jump on a rat and... If you press the X button when you jump off a bounce, you, you can get, you can get a bit of it, you can get a little bit of extra height. Here's a new block that you, block, here's a new crate that's introduced, a metal crate. Can't break it, so you have to ground pound it. Because apparently Crash's stomach is more powerful than his feet. Wow, that seems like a fat joke. You gonna take that, Bandicoot? This is my least favourite bonus room because of this mechanic. You have to backtrack through it. Did, did, did you see those invisible crates? You have to hit that so that it makes it, so that it, makes it spawn. Alright, as long as you've bounced on a box at least one time, they will break on the next bounce. As long as you don't keep bouncing on them. So these should break out on the next bounce now. There we go. There we go. Those are the, those are the, those are the things you have to kind of... When, get, when you're getting into like a platform and genre like this, those are the kind of things you have to know. Because you always got to like... And if you didn't know about that stuff, you just have to put your faith in blind luck. Yeah! T -t 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 Two out of three ain't bad. Got myself another clear gem! Alright! So, with the exception of, with the exception, with the exception of that red gem... I'm doing pretty good! I'm doing pretty good, I may say! Shukmatic! Shukmatic! Ha 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 ha! Ow! Alright, two more levels done. I think I'll I think I'll call it here. Yeah, I think I'll call it a part. Next time on Crash Bandicoot, I'm not gonna hear that. Next time on Crash Two, I'm, so, I'm actually gonna hear the Wrath of Cortex. But anyway, I'm getting off I'm getting off topic here. Next time, we'll be doing Crash Dash, and then, once we hear from Cortex, we will figure out how we get out of here. See you guys then.